Time to go to the tape and break it down with Missouri safeties coach Ryan Walters talking about Jordan Ulmer, the uh, safety from Belleville, Michigan. And, and coach, one of the things we hear about Jordan is his physicality coming straight out of high school, really built to play the college game. And that's rare for a kid coming right out of high school football, isn't it? No doubt, man. Jordan's every bit of 6'2", 190 pounds, and he's a skinny 190, so he's got a lot of potential. Um, kids, kids got some dog in him, and that's what you need at safety. Um, we have to have that length and that range um, to cover the ball in the back end. And then, that, like I said, that nastiness, that dog to come downhill and, and stop the ball carrying his tracks. Let's take a look at how he uses that physical nature on the tape as we take a look at some of his plays. And we were talking a minute ago, uh, favorable comparison to William Moore, a name that Tiger fans will, will likely remember. No doubt. Run that back. So here you see uh, Jordan shedding the tackler here, or a blocker here, and then coming downhill. What I like is, is he gets low and explodes through his hips, and again, that kid that's running the ball, he felt that. Um, that's what I like to see. Um, you know, he gets up, he's fired up after this, puts his face right on him. And uh, like I said, as soon as that ball carry makes contact with Jordan, he's done. He stopped, and that's, that's where the ball's down. No, no extra yardage in that deal. Here you see Jordan. Um, he's, got, he's got underneath coverage. He's got help over the top with the corner. Uh, so you see he's dissecting the play, reading runner pass. You know, there's the, the switch off between the guy going to the flat and the number one receiver coming across, he does a good job of getting to his hip. And then here's where the ball skills come into place. So he flips his hips, and again, that's hard to do at 6'2". Um, locates the ball while it's in the air, and now you get up a, an impact, game-changing play, securing the ball. And then, like I said, he's a competitor. He got dog in him. It's going to take a little bit to get him down. He's trying to get extra yards. Uh, put his offense in position to go score. Important thing to remember for safety is we see the hitting, but we also see, as you mentioned, the ball skills. These are players that have to have a, a number of different responsibilities and, and, and really be athletic to pull all these types of plays off. No doubt. And he's got it. I mean, he's a, a, a basketball player as well. Uh, here again, just shedding the ball, uh, uh, yeah, a blocker, going and making a play. So again, that's a play that should be a game for the offense because they got a half for a hat. He makes a play. Um, you know, he's got, he's supposed to have uh, contained, but he knows he can get contained by going inside, um, shaking the lesser athlete at the uh, offensive line position, and then making a the tackle. We're getting that second down, so now we're looking at third and long, and let's go. Here you see him coming down in a box. So again, he's got outside contain, uh, doesn't let the ball get outside of him, chases it down, that's third down. We're stopping the ball, they, they got a punt, so we're off the field. This is a, a good play, hustle play, understanding his leverage, understanding his responsibility, and again, whenever he's making contact, uh, that ball carrier is not getting any extra yards. When you look at a dynamic playmaker like Jordan and you see the way he uses, you know, that frame, that body that he has to the best of his ability, that's got to that's got to ring a bell for you as a coach saying that that's something I can really work with. Doesn't oh, it? no doubt. And our kid comes from a great family. I mean, dad works at the plant, mom's a nurse, um, so they understand hard work, you know, and that's what I love about these kids and Michigan kids, the Detroit kids, um, you know, they're, they're blue collar. You know, nose to the ground, I'm going to go to work. Um, and that's what we embody here at the University of Missouri, so it's an, it's an awesome fit. It uh, feels like family. Every, every time I go over there, it feels like I'm at home. So I uh, hope he feels the same way when he gets on campus, and I'm sure he will. Yeah, here's just a good, uh, another good example of ball skills. Run that back real quick. You know, get tips and overthrows. we got to get those. That's what we always say on defense, and, and there you see him taking advantage of the ball being in the air, um, you know, high throw, and we're going to get a lot of those with the de defensive line tradition here. And then just, again, him taking advantage of, of securing the ball, uh, tucking it away, and again, going to get an extra yards. And you can see the length he's got. And again, he's a skinny 190 pounds if there's any, anything, um, you know, if there's a case of that. So I'm um, really looking forward to him. I think this is another good, good lick here. Boom. So that's, this is what I like, running back. So the display is muted, right? There's no volume on the screen, but you hear that hit. That's where you know you getting. That's how you know you got a physical player. Um, and so I'm I'm looking forward to bringing his physicality to our room, uh, to our defense, and and letting that that physical play permeate throughout our program. I have a question about it. Does it, if a tree falls in the woods and there's no one there to hear it, if there's no volume on the tape but the hit is hard enough? Oh, you hear that thing. <laughs> All right, Ryan. We appreciate. It. Thanks for giving us some insight yeah, on Jordan Elmer. No problem.